wasted a lot of time sitting down here by this lake. A lot of things went through my mind. Should I go or should? What's up, guys? Welcome back. You're at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, right now. And today's test drive is this 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. This one's got the original 350. This is a matching number motor with power steering, power brakes, and cold AC. This car originally came out of Clarksville, Tennessee. So it's been in Tennessee this whole time, guys. Check out the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available. Dual exhaust out the back. And towards the end of the video, we'll be picking out the flaws. And if you're new, of course, hit subscribe, share this video. That helps me out quite a bit. And I appreciate that in advance. All right, guys. I'm going to shut the hood down here. We're going to open the door. We're going to place bets on the horn. We're going to place bets on the gas. We're going to have a little fun. Whatever I find, you'll know about. Sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's look around the interior. It does have a steering wheel cover because the steering wheel is cracked and old. We'll go ahead and start her up. Thing about this ride, I did notice some smoking. It is the original motor. Of course, it ain't gonna smoke for you right now. Maybe it will throughout the video. When it's on a cold start, it does smoke a little bit. Right now, nothing. But it's only at the left tailpipe, so starts up great the motor's nice and smooth the dash is clean pretty much all the way around you've even got the hands-free set right there ac turn on max and it doesn't run on high it runs on the medium setting here the high switch it's not doing anything so your medium it's actually blowing pretty hard Left turn signal. Not popping up on the dash, but the right one is. The left one is right there in the middle and I'm trying to mess with the switch here to see if it'll do it, but it's not. I think the little bulb's out in there. It's showing 34,987 miles. And honestly, that very well can be correct with the original motor, with it being in Tennessee this whole time. Let's see, Let me give her a little gas here. I tried to romp down on her. Let's cut the AC off and do it. The gas gauge is up to three quarters of a tank. So honestly, we don't even need to stop the gas station. If that one's moving while we're riding, it's working. Wipers are working. Radio, it's on standby. Let's do something here. I don't care about color select. Radio. How's he gonna pay some bills? Yes, girl. Radio is working. Full pressure in this one. Jumps up to 40 when you get in the throttle. At idle, it goes down to 20. Looking around the interior, carpet has been changed out. It's nice and clean. Let's get a little closer. Yeah, I'll show you the grain. The seat. Got the armrest here. The back seat. Looks great. All my gear is listed below in the description, along with merchandise. You can pick up t-shirts and stuff from Maple Motors. You can tell they redid the uh, panel and the package tray in the back. You can see the new fabric kind of filled up back there. Headliner is in good shape. They did pretty good on that one. Seat belts hanging from the ceiling. The light cover is new. The light looks good and it's working. Horn, did you place those bets? Let's try it out. Here we go. Oh, wow. Ah thought for a hundred percent that that would work i haven't actually tried it previous to the video so kind of gives myself a little bit of surprise there guys let's go ahead and hit the road and we'll see how she runs and drives okay here we go guys we're gonna take off down the road anything i see you'll know about it today i really don't think we're gonna have to go to the gas station because i can already see that gas needle moving around on the dash here let me show you real quick see that gives me an indication that float is working, that the gas gauge is working. It should be pretty correct, especially with all the stuff that is working on this car. I don't think we're gonna have any issues there. Let's see if we can fit. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight. Anything I see, you'll know about. It's 
speedometer's coming up on the dash and it seems to be pretty correct. It may be about five mile an hour fast, but look how straight this thing is going down the road. Nice silky steering. It's turning there, turning there. Kick down just engaged. It's pulling hard. I'm holding her to the floor. We got up to about 65. I'm gonna come back down here. And the brakes, a little bit of a pull to the left there. Back into the throttle. No smoke out the back. Like I said, this one I noticed it puffed a little bit when it started. But it's not doing it while we're continuously driving down the road. And I haven't actually seen anything since. So the brakes still a little bit of a left pull there. Not too bad. You can kind of feel the rotors doing this. Of course, after this, I'm going to get some undercarriage shots. We're going to drop by the camera. Luckily, I got a camera girl today. She's going to help me out because uh, I'm going out of town next weekend. We're closed on Mondays or this Monday. Of course, by the time you see this video, it'll be past. We're closed on Memorial Day. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But I will be out of town Thursday through Sunday, and I'll be back the following Monday going to New Orleans. coming up on the parking lot here let's just do that yeah you should just pull out in front of me that's wonderful okay <laughs> here we go guys undercarriage shots look below in the description for any kind of additional information from maple motors let's do it
All right, guys, got you on my head. And just like she said, anything bad that happens, we got it. Anything good that happens, we got it. She helped me get some of the uh, footage today. We had a couple ideas. I think you might like it. The more we do it, the better we get, right? Yeah? Yep. Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading back to the lot now. I noticed some squeaky brakes. I noticed the oil pressure was down around 10 at idle. Of course, with this being the original motor, be expected. And y'all look pretty good as we're going down the road. Still very smooth. I mean, honestly, I think this is smoother than your car. My car? Yeah, this is a boat. It is smooth. It's starting to sprinkle on us, but I don't care. We're going to keep running through videos today. And of course, once we get back to the lot, I'm going to be picking out the flaws, jibs, scratches, anything that I can find on this ride. We got stopped by Brian's though. We need to see what's going on down there. And he just got a set of wheels in for me. So I'm excited about those. I usually stay pretty quiet through this portion of the video so people can actually listen to all of the things that the car is talking about. <laughs> what the car wants to tell you. Does it rattle? Does it squeak? This one not so much. All I hear is the brakes. Just nice and smooth. Whoa, whoa. All right, we're gonna pull in here. Guys, check out Brian's Motorsports. He has wheels, tires, uh, suspension, interior stuff, stereo stuff, whatever you need. I've had a lot of people buy cars from us and directly send them down here with Brian, talk to him before they come pick them up or ship them out. It is definitely a good idea, especially if you want a few things done to it. We're gonna go up in here. See, he's got another Cutlass sitting right there, convertible. That one's not for sale, but he is working on it for somebody probably local. He's got a C10 truck sitting here. He's got new modern trucks that he's put wheels and tires on. He's also got a new Camaro sitting there. I mean, a little bit of everything. So that's why I stopped down here. This is the guy to see when you wanna get stuff done. But what we're gonna do is find a cool parking spot. Looks like they're doing interiors right there, aren't they? They're getting some fabric for something. All right. I'm gonna try to find a cool parking spot here, right where we can walk in. What about right here? How cool is this spot? <laughs> it's very good spot. All right, let's walk in here and see what's going on, guys. Instagram, guys. Okay, back at the lot, picking out the flaws. We're gonna get up close and personal and look for any kind of chips dents, scratches, rust, whatever I can find. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and let's get started. Coming around the front end on this one. You see the bumper's a little bit hazy looking. Got some black scuffs over here in the corner. Coming across this front end. You got some, looks like paint there on the headlight. Imperfections right in here, little bumps on the paint chip right in the corner there coming on down tires in good shape 
up and over the fender. Trim's pulled out just a hair there. And down the lower portion here, a little hazy on some of the trim. That little piece there needs to be clipped back. You got dings right here on your trim on the edge. Coming back that midsection. It's pretty good. Got a little thick paint right here. You can see where it's running. Slight dings right in the door there. Really, really small. I mean, you can hardly even see them. You got some right here too. Little chips. Back over this top portion here. Trim around the front windshield looks good. Mirror looks good. Trim around the side windows is in good shape. Tinted windows. Nice door handle. Little scuffs here on some of the trim. Back windows look good. Blacked out. The vinyl top is in great shape. I don't see any bumps. I usually like running my hands over it just to see if I feel any kind of bumps, but it is clean and smooth. Coming around on the back end here. It's a little hazy there on the tail lights. Back bumper, decent shape, older, it's got light scratches. Dual exhaust out the back. I love the little mat that they have in the trunk here. Nice spare tire underneath the mat. It looks really good. Let's look under this side. Yes, yeah, so this is in good shape here. Package tray is very clean. I feel like this car sat in the garage for a while, especially as nice as it is. The seal looks good around the trunk. Your jams are nice and clean. Trunk lid itself is solid all the way around. Coming on down with the trunk lid. Keys are in the ignition. Are they? I can't tell. Yes, they are. This thing shuts easy. Check it out. Clarksville, that's Clarksville, Tennessee. A little bumps here. You got a little paint run here and here. Definitely a repaint at some point. Coming down this side, lower portion first. Cut over that fender. A little hazy on some of your trim down there. Chip here at the bottom. Back at midsection. Little chip here. Paint run there. Up over the top portion here. Fairly clean. Back windows in good shape. The vinyl top, like I said, this thing looks nice. I don't see any rust. Bubbles popping up underneath. A little spot there on your trim. Door handles in good shape. Trim around your window's good. They put new weather stripping in here, but it's not glued in correctly, so it's gonna keep falling out until it's glued in. Mirror looks good. Pillar there, good shape. Front windshield, oh, it does. A little crack right there in the middle. Chip. Might be able to fill that one before it gets any worse and just leave it alone there. 
Coming across the top of the fender here. Good shape. Let's go ahead and check out the interior and get her started up. Door panel on this one looks good. It has been redone. Bottom of the door. Nice and clean. New jams. So the carpet in this one looks new. No doubt about that. The seat in this one is in very good condition. I don't really see any kind of rips or tears. It's just showing off there. The back seat looks like the handle for the window cranks in the in the seat there. It may need a pin. And across the back, package tray. Looks good. Somebody's redone that. Your panels and your headliner here are all in good shape. Go ahead and start her up. Starts up easy. Looks like a little bit of paperwork on the car. That's always good. Very clean, even these fenders are nice and clean. I like the way they ran the wire there. Your battery tray's got a little bit of rust on it, you can see. Under your hood is solid, nice and clean. Always check your edges, but they look good. Coming down with the hood here. Heavy and it shuts good. Look at the reflection on that paint job. You've got thick paint right here on the nose. you got a little spot here in the paint. Little thick paint over here as well. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, and hit like, and we'll keep making them for you. I'm always continuously looking to make these videos better. That's why it changed a little bit in this episode here. So what we're going to do is keep doing that, uh, hopefully for the next five cars, as long as uh, my sister doesn't get too busy up here. We all have our own jobs, but she was just relaxing. So trying to teach her how to do a little bit of what I do. Guys, I do appreciate that. I really do. So hit subscribe, share the video, hit like, and it'll keep me doing these videos for you. Go to maplemotors.com. Look at the financing and the shipping that we have available. We have 100 detailed pictures every car and every monday we'll put out new inventory for now thank you i'll see you later